is really excited um, to cover a movie that you're in because I've just been a fan for such a long time. Oh, that's so kind of you to say. Thank you. Films. I've been so lucky and I've had so much fun. And music videos. <laughs> yeah. I got a story for you about music videos. So what, 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 whatever it was 15, 18 years ago, the, uh, the, uh, the killers call me and they say they want me to be in their video and I turn them down. And wife says, why'd you do that? I said, because I don't want to be in music videos. Then all my kids go, what the wrong with you, man? You got to go do that. So I called them back and said, you know, will you take me back? And they said, please, yes, we love this. So that's how it all started. Yeah, you've been in a few killers videos. And all my videos have all gone number one. Akon, Mariah Carey, The Killers, etc. So they've all gone number one. 50 Cent, they all went number one. Who knew? You're like the lucky. Yeah, I am, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this film was so great. And I think Aaron did an amazing job depicting uh, mental illness and the struggles of it. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Fisher is a bit of a genius. Yeah, I, I especially considering that he's in it, directed it, wrote it. Not that often do you see such a successful film with somebody who could do all three of those roles. How did you encounter Aaron? Did, how did he approach you? With the I got sent the script. I read the script. My part is you know usual kind of Eric Roberts, slightly sleazy, maybe not, but possibly. A gangster, you know, and uh, and so you know, it was easy for me. It was fun, but the actual subject r really got me, and uh, I'm just pro understanding this and having everybody understand it because I was on psychotropics for about a thousand days, about about three years, and they almost ruined my career because I acted funny, everybody, everybody thought I was on drugs, I was always caught in mouth, all that stuff was going on, you know, all caused by Prozac and Buspar and all that stuff that's legal, yeah. but it was destroying me. And it was also making me socially peculiar. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, uh, and I stopped it all in one day, had withdrawals that were horrible. Oh, it, 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 it was a bad scene, but I got through it. I got over it, I got past it, and I find if I spend my third hour of every day in the gym hard, I'm okay. So I'm in the gym every morning of my life, no, no, no matter what time I have to be at work, I'm in the gym first. And that's my medication. That works for me. When you're talking about the medication, because I, and he, you see this in the film too, and he talks about it in his director's notes that it's very hard finding the right medication that works for you. The right recipe. Yeah. yeah. And someone might seem, like you said, like on drugs or something, but it's not at all. It's They're trying to just function That's right. day to day. So I think it's such an important film. I, I love your character, though, in it, that you're living in your mom's garage, too. <laughs> well, you know, he's a loser. <laughs> but hey, he helps him make the film and they use go. it as a location. There you go. <laughs> It shows you it's kind of like you gotta I like that kind of too. there's there's always an upside to every loss <laughs> there really is <laughs> there really is it kind of shows like if you want to make something just go make it which I I, I grew up in Los Angeles and I think it's funny here because a lot of times people talk 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 but like okay you gotta actually do something you can't just talk about it forever so I do think there's an undercurrent of that in the film too <laughs> there is good for you yeah <laughs> what do you what excites you when you look at scripts when someone sends you something that makes you want to work on something? Over the years, it's really, really changed. When I was when I when I was a was a young man, it was all artistic. It was all it was all it was all the subtleties, all the nuances, all the details, all the stuff that was possibly a secret, you know. And now it can be anything from wow, that's a great location. I'm going to uh, to do I get to keep those clothes? Oh, hmm. you know, it's it's all kinds of different stuff now. But it's still fun for me every day. I've seen the planet, and I have the best job on the planet. I love that. You, you, that's, and I love that you're so passionate about acting, and you sincerely love it. It's a great gig, honey. It really is. You're good at it too, so that Thank you so much. <laughs> All I want is for everybody to un understand that we have to understand what we're talking about and what we're dealing with when we deal with psychotropic drugs and why and how and for how long. And they are an advantage to a lot of people. They are not an advantage to a lot of people. So you have to find out who, why, and how, and where. And uh, this, uh, this film 
is a real education uh, part of our people that we don't really deal with properly, and this film does. So I'm proud to be in it. I had a great time making it. And Aaron Fisher is a bit of a genius, and Rosie Perez is a great actor. Wait to see her performance. So she, she kills it. She's so good at I know. Like, I want to dance with her. It's like, I just love her. Don't we all? Yeah. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs>